Big Bala is a mystical creature that lives hidden on any given island in the Philippines. It has an attractive chiseled torso of a man and a hideous, bulbous, horse-like head and face. It, it likes to prey on and con unknowing. Mm -hmm. My mom's not a very superstitious person, but growing up, my Lolo, her dad, told her stories of what lurks on their islands. Like that, of the capre, tall, troll-like tricksters that attract humans with their scents, hanging off the paths among the trees, or the mananunga, a winged, vampire-like, baby-eating beast that in the daytime disguises itself as a maiden and then at night, severs from its bottom half, leaving it behind to fly around in search for pregnant bellies. <laughs> now, despite all that and more, my mom's not really afraid of anything. Although I wonder if she was ever afraid of the big bala. I don't know how, but it must have followed her when she immigrated to the US. It must have known that there was something about her, the way she glowed in the sunlight, gleaming off the water in the horizon, not a product of dark magic, just magic on her being. And so, it used its charm to seduce her. It was from that that my sister and I were born. It kept us under his control with a spell that was wrathful and violent, powered by rage. It took years for me to wake up and see that my father was a monster. One of my earliest memories is of my parents dancing around the living room. Except it wasn't a dance, they were circling each other. As if the coffee table in the middle was the offering for better life they were promised when they left the homeland. As if the knife in the big falling's hand would be to split, the table opened, dribbles of mahogany staining the carpet with my mother, praying as she continued to whirl through the air at my father, following her, breathing out alcohol with every stride. At that age, I didn't know that domestic violence was a kind of dark magic. Oh. Even after you left. Even after my mom married the new man that would raise my sister and me, I used to have flashbacks and delusions to the moments he chased her. I used to lay awake and I remember the times he'd strike me. I didn't think that the word survivor was anything more than the name of a reality TV show, that a reality in my life wasn't a show or a movie, that a reality I grew up afraid of developing intimate relationships with men, that a reality I learned how to cope by fishing for affection and more friends and hookups and I have energy so I could fall asleep at night faster than I could count to 10 so I wouldn't have to lay there remembering. Now, now at least that I can bear to speak about this out loud, like an incantation that gives me strength. I'm realizing that I am the son of a sorceress and that my stepdad is a healer and that my sister is a mage and that damn it, I'm something too. Yeah. Let's go! I don't have a name for the way I've learned how to keep pushing or for the way I've learned how to push out the delusions from the Dibbalan through the years, but I know now that I am a product of magic. Mm. Whenever shit hits the fan, I just remember my mom and how she's not very superstitious. Hey. Hey.